Hey, this video is on the best trading view settings. The best trading view settings are obviously the settings that you like. However, there are many ways to optimize trading view to see the data a little more efficiently um, to help you trade you know, a little better. There's also many things that you see on charts that kind of point out if you're a new trader in some ways. So after this video, you might see what I'm talking about and maybe become slightly judgmental when you see new charts. But anyway, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the basic settings. When it comes to trading view, you really want what I prefer is a clean chart. Okay. Some people prefer very busy charts. Um, I like a bit of a mix. Okay. I like a lot of data, but it's very compact and easy to see. Okay. I think too much data can be quite overwhelming at first and really take away from the basics. So the basic settings, if you right click on the chart and go to settings down here. So these are my recommended settings for each part of the settings panel. On the first picture over here on the left, I have the bodies of the candles turned all the way down because I'm using uh, my indicator, which has um, candle colors included inside of it. Pretty much everything else is gonna be turned off. There are some notable things in here. Um, open market status, please turn this off. You're just outing yourself if you have this turned on. This puts a little green down in the top left. If you're trading crypto, you know the market's open because it's always open, right? But you don't need this. So when I see this on people's charts, I'm just like, okay, this person's probably new to trading. The rest of the stuff you can pretty much leave off. The other important things to turn off are this, indicator arguments and indicator values. This will get rid of all those numbers and letters and values stretching across your screen from the indicators. Turn off the bid and ask and the buy and sell buttons. The rest of the stuff, pretty much, it's very simple. Um, over here on the right side, I use a simple gradient. I have vert and horizontal grid lines turned off. Um, I prefer to only see data that's relevant and these kind of excess lines are not really relevant. The other thing are these margins. So this is what's gonna act as a buffer to the candles whenever you load up um, on your chart. I would recommend putting these all to zero or to one. And after making these screenshots, I actually turned the right margin back down to zero. So I'll show you what these mean. So these provide a buffer. If you turn on the right margin and the bottom margin, you see what I'm talking about. So it automatically creates a buffer down here, an empty space, okay? Whenever you load up a new chart. See all this empty space over here? So if you do prefer to have you know, two or three, that's fine. But I prefer to see more data on the chart. And so I usually leave right either on one, two, three, four, five, something like that. The next thing you're going to do is right click on the price value scale over here on the right. You're going to go to labels. I pretty much turn all of these off. However, what is useful to know is the indicators and financials name labels and the value labels. If you have indicators that are set up to use these, it can be quite helpful because these could be values from the indicator. Like on my indicator, these band lines all have values that show up on the price scale. The other thing you don't need is symbol name label. If you have your currency button up here in the top right, God help you. Most new people will have this button up here that says USD or USDT. If you don't know what currency you're trading at this point, then I'm sorry, <laughs> but you don't need that on. So you can turn that off. Over here on the right side, you have your watch list. Okay. Now the way my watch list is set up is that I have numero uno shit coins up here. These are the number one kind of shit coins. These are the indexes, Bitcoin and ETH. And then I have the total crypto. I also have shit perp, which is an FTX index to see all the shit coins. Down here, I have most of the shit coins, which are all of the, um, every single coin that I can trade on KuCoin Futures, because I primarily trade Cuckfoot. That's all of these. And then down here, I have some miscellaneous coins. Up here on the top right, you can turn off change, because it's not really helpful to see that AGLD went down 0 0.0001 today, or went up 0 0.0001. That's not helpful. You're just providing excess information that you don't need. Now into the chart itself. I prefer to have a chart that's 
again, very streamlined and optimized. So for mine, I primarily use my own indicator and that's it, which can compact a lot of the data into this one column over here. But that'll be for another video of using my indicator. Over here, we do have some very built-in, very useful, helpful indicators that are built into TradingView that I do want to recommend. So the VR, uh, VP, this is the volume range volume profile. This is for paid, I believe it's only paid, um, trading view. And it displays this right side and it's everything that's visible on the screen. It creates a volume profile on the right side for, okay. So if we zoom in, you'll see that it adjusts to the volume that's on the screen. Okay. So that can be helpful. The next one is going to be your periodic volume profile. So this creates a volume profile based on your specified period. So I like to have this on and just set it to one week and then just select the POC. So that way I can get a weekly POC show, showing up on my chart. And it just is quietly in the background like this. Okay, that's helpful information to know. And then I have this last one, which I'm kind of toying with right now. It's, it's auto anchored volume profile. So the way it works is it displays a volume profile based on your specified period. Um, so this is up to one week and it will just automatically show for one week. Okay. That's another um, helpful chart to, or helpful indicator to have. It's auto anchored and this is actually a new one from TradingView. So some other helpful things to know would be to keep a chart clean. What I do is a few different things. So I hide most of my drawings inside of folders down here in the object tree. Okay. It's not helpful to see every single line ever, you know, created, you know, since the dawn of man on your chart. So it can be quite a bit to see all these lines, all these real volume profiles marked. So it's helpful to put them in these object trees and these folders, and you can hide the folders and refer back to them whenever you need them. And then I prefer to label my lines um, based on the time and the date. The other thing you could do is you can automatically hide um, elements based on the time frame you're viewing. So if you saw that when I switched to the daily, actually it's anything above the, I think eight hour, this big um, fork comes up, right? So if you right click on any object that you draw, go into the settings, go into the last tab visibility, you can choose which time frames you would like this to show up on. So then this does not show up on anything that's below a 12 hour time frame for me, right? Because I don't want to see these lines all over my chart when I'm on like the five minute, 15 minute or 30 minute, right? It's not very helpful to me. Now I do the same thing when I'm on volume profiles like this. So you can see for this volume profile right here, I don't want this volume profile to show up, you know, on every single time frame, like on the 15 minute, whatever, it's going to be too much. So instead I have this only show up on anything above the, I believe it's like the three hour, or the four hour. Okay. And I can change this as I need. So again, settings, visibility. Now, as for the settings of these volume profiles, again, I like a very clean setup so I can just see the most important data. So for most things on my charts, I have transparency slightly turned down on most things so I can keep everything faded. And then I actually turn the up volume all the way down. This is the volume that's underneath the down volume. So you know the total volume is going to be within this area. I prefer to just have this turned all the way off because I know it's going to be there anyway. It just helps me see more of the chart. So if you have any questions, please feel free, throw them out there. Um, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, now you can look at other people's charts and see if they have the, you know, green market, market light on because they need to know if the crypto market's on, um, open or not. You can see if they have the USDT, you know, a little square up here. Um, hopefully, but hopefully, you know, nobody will have that going forward. Um, but yeah, anyway, make the chart yours, you know, choose a design that you like, um, that you like looking at every day. Um, and it's always cool to see other people's ideas. So anyway, um, please let me know if you have any questions. All right, take care.